also i've been getting a bunch of requests to <sighs> why am i out of breath <laughs> i've been getting a bunch of requests to redo how to take your own instagram pictures and that is not a request that i'm going to deny because i love making videos like that and i love encouraging you guys to take your own pictures so that's what we're gonna do so i just got two packages so when it comes to taking your own pictures i do buy new clothes for this majority of the things i wear were not sent to me i do pay for a lot of my clothes out of pocket just because i want to <laughs> i mean if a brand wants to send me stuff i have no problem with that but like recently i've been paying for a lot of things just because i will never work with a brand that i genuinely don't like and don't stand for especially brands that aren't inclusive in terms of size and race like small medium large is not a good size range because i don't even fit in that so I'm very selective with the brands I work with. Don't think that you have to have new clothes every single time you guys take pictures. There's things that I've worn multiple times on my Instagram. I don't just wear it once and throw it away. Granted, sometimes I do, I'm not even gonna lie. But be versatile. You don't have to buy new clothes to take pictures. You don't have to break the bank to get a good Instagram picture. Like y'all, it's Instagram. It's not that big of a deal. But I make it one. I need to stop. <laughs> One of the new things I got is this Playboy sweater. It's really cute. It's pink and green, even though pink and green isn't the best color combination. We're gonna make it work. And then I also have this Playboy hoodie dress, which I'm obsessed with because being tall and being a fake legend, hoodie dresses are like a no-go. They never fit me right. But this one from Misguided, understood the assignment. Later. I am planning out like my outfits that I'm gonna wear tomorrow today technically because it's like 12 30 at night but i want to show you guys like my process of getting an outfit together <laughs> i try everything on before i take the pictures but look look how cute this outfit is it's giving school girl is giving baddie bad school girl college girl i don't know what the vibe is but i like it as you can see from doing this my room gets completely destroyed like it's so dirty in here but comes with the job here is a preview of the second outfit i don't want to show y'all too much i kind of want to keep you on your toes just a little bit but very simple top cargo pants foam runners okay so after i figure out my outfits i like to lay them out just so i know like what i'm wearing and i can look at it and pack it and make sure i'm not forgetting anything the following day i'm about to head out i have to um get a COVID test before well on my way because i was feeling sick tuesday and i just came back from california so we need to make sure that i'm not infected okay i have the first outfit on hopefully we can make this work in one location i didn't really plan it out we're just gonna go with the flow and hope for the best so i am at my shooting location for the day i'm gonna try to get all three outfits done in this parking garage i think though there's some skeptical activity going on over there when you're taking pictures or honestly being anywhere alone especially being a woman keep one of these on you because god forbid i haven't had to use it yet but stay ready so you don't have to get ready but today y'all aren't getting to letha so i always keep um pepper spray my id and my keys on me at all times no matter what i'm doing where i'm going just because you never want to be in a situation where it's fight or flight and you can't do either one so be aware of your surroundings be safe be careful but have fun because picture taking is a lot of fun i also always have at least two photo bluetooth clickers on me because i've been in a position where i've had it and then i dropped it and it broke and it was very unfortunate so i always keep two on me just in case like you never know if you're gonna need it so this is what it looks like on my end this is what will all be in the picture when doing this take a few pictures check to see if you like it and then continue going or like adjust as needed but make sure you're looking at the pictures to make sure you like them so I wanted you guys to see here, here's me taking what I call sample pictures. So pretty much taking two or three pictures, going back to the camera, looking at the frame, making sure I like the positioning of the camera and then adjusting as needed. Clearly this one didn't look too good cause I'm changing some stuff, but just do this to make sure you like it and then continue taking pictures. And just like that, outfit one is completed. I'm gonna get some 
what I call detail pictures, like close-ups of like my accessories, the bag, because this bag is everything. Oh, another thing, tips for hiding the clicker. If you're using a Bluetooth shutter remote, put it in your pocket and put your hand in your pocket. When you're holding your bag, here I'll show you. If you're holding a bag, you can hold the bag like this and then just put it in your hand and then put it like that so it looks like you're just grabbing the bag. Finesse. On to the second outfit. One of the things I <laughs> impress myself with is my ability to change in the car or somewhat in the car. It's a skill set and I think I've mastered it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Second outfit is this hoodie dress. We have like a brown moment. Let me, let, let me show you. Let me, let me put you on. Hoodie dress, brown boots, and then this purse to match the bag. Get into it, yeah. Get into it, yeah. Absolutely living for this outfit like it is so fire. I wrapped up taking pictures maybe like 10 minutes ago my feet hurt so bad like I don't know what's going on but those heels they were not comfortable it is two days later as you can see she got her hair done dude don't play with her but I wanted to quickly cover the, the equipment. We're gonna make this quick, we're gonna make this brief because nobody cares and we don't have time to be sitting here talking all day. So what do I use to take my pictures? There is three things that I personally use. This is the method that I like, that I prefer. There's different apps, different methods, different tripods and you wouldn't be watching this video if you wanted what they use. This is what I use. That being said, I'm aware, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I always get so many people telling me that tripod's too expensive. Or you can just use this app to take pictures. Thank you, next. Swipe left, okay? I take every single picture on this iPhone 11 Pro. I've had, well, I got this phone right when I started like taking my social media seriously. I got this phone January of 2020, mm. December of 2019, so. She's a little old, she's like starting to age, you know the wrinkles are coming out, but she's held her own, okay? <laughs> I don't use the front camera for any of my pictures just because, unless it's a selfie, because the back camera just has such amazing quality. I'm like, why would I ever use the front camera? Don't play with me. As far as what like I actually do to take the pictures, so I get these little shutter release motes, uh, motes? girl i get these shutter release remotes off of amazon they are bluetooth you turn it on let me get one because i have i keep that thing on me okay they look like this they have different colors but you know i just get the cheap one because it's cheap <laughs> there's a little switch on the side and as you can see this blue light turns on it starts flashing which basically means it's looking for a device to pair to it will show up in your i mean let me screen record because sometimes you gotta be thorough and i'm very thorough if anything <laughs> so you can see all the ab shutters that's like all 18 of my other remotes because this is a new one it will pop up as other devices you click that you put pair and then boom she is connected now you go to your camera app um we're gonna flip it so y'all can see my beautiful face <laughs> and literally as you press this button so the top one is ios and the bottom one is android it works she's versatile okay you press it and every time you press this button you're taking a picture which is why i love it to circle back to like apps like lens buddy and other ones that allow you to take your own pictures yes i've used lens buddy before but personally speaking I like knowing when the picture is being taken, so I like having the control of pressing a button. Granted, if I do want like a hands-free outfit or I want something where I'm literally not holding a remote, I'll use Lens Buddy. But just like as my own personal preference, this is my little friend right here, okay? I love these things. I will say, these things are cheap, okay? So if you drop it, it will probably break. That's why I always keep at least three of them on me whenever I go to take pictures because I've been in the situation where I only had one, I dropped it, it broke, and then I was like, crap, what do we do now? Keep this thing on you, keep multiple things on you, stay locked and loaded, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. 
you're welcome. And then as far as tripod goes, it's the same tripod I've been using forever. It is a little, not little, because she's thick. Excuse me. Amazon Basics tripod. She extends to like, I think, six feet. I like my tripod how I like my men. Six feet and taller, okay. And pretty much you can get all the angles, all the frames, anything you want she is more than capable if you guys are interested in any of the equipment like i said links down below if you like this video give it one of these i would absolutely love to make more content that you guys request i am trying to upload twice a week but i just need two days and i'll let y'all pick because y'all are the ones watching it so i want to make sure that my videos cater to you so there will be a poll somewhere somehow i don't know yet but <laughs> make sure you guys vote for which days you want me to upload and we will negotiate with management which is just me and i'll get back to you in like seven to ten business days so <laughs> i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time with another video peace out have a blessed day